Well, at the time, I didn't really know I was going to it. It was years later that when I took a look back at how I was experiencing being a new mother, I discovered then that I might have been probably experiencing postpartum. And it was just a number of things that indicated from, you know, not being able to actually be a perfect mother and also not being able to engage with your newborn and also feeling guilty about that. I got pregnant at 23. Um, my son's father, he was three years younger. We had been together a short time. Um, so honestly, we both just weren't ready. You know what I mean? Uh, we both were full-time students. Um, and it just, I can't say it was a mistake because obviously you love your child and you're happy that your son is here. But it was just difficult to concentrate because there were just so many things happening at once. I found myself being like really sad all of the time, not being able to maybe complete my studies, um, just really withdrawn and isolated. Um, and I probably just kind of disengaged from all of my friends and just focused on, you know, raising my son. Hi, my name is Dr. Yvonne Ankara. I'm an OBGYN in Westchester. Postpartum typically encompasses the 12 months after delivery, whether it's vaginal or by cesarean section. And depression in itself is typically a diagnosis that involves depressed or decreased mood. Um, there can be sleep disturbances, um, lack of desire, fatigue. Um, you also may feel down, depressed, guilty, um, and those symptoms typically happen um, in a two-week period multiple times. So we do monitor our patients in pregnancy. If you have a history of depression, we do try to support that diagnosis, whether it be with antidepressants or clinical therapy. Postpartum, we watch for the signs and symptoms related to postpartum depression, specifically bonding, how your mood is once you're, you're, you have had the delivery. Those days immediately after having a baby can be very stressful. There's a lot of lack of sleep. There's um, a lot of information that is coming to you that you may not have been aware of before. And so it can be a time that is very, very challenging. Well, I think that in general, for a lot of mothers, there is a lot of recollection in those first three, you know, six months of feeling as if you're inadequate for various reasons. I think that, like I said before, postpartum depression is typically noticed in those first 12 months after delivery. I think it's not unusual for some women to understand that the bonding was very difficult in those first few months and in retrospect realize that they may have undergone some form of postpartum depression. In the immediacy of delivery, recognize that your social support, your family support, your spousal support is very important. Sleep is important. Um, staying healthy, eating, those things help very much with the postpartum transition. Being open to breastfeeding as well as formula. I think that there's a lot of stigma to being able to breastfeed or not being able to breastfeed. And I think that if, as parents, if we're able to focus on healthy rearing of our children, I think that that helps to take some of that anxiety off of individuals after they've delivered and may help a little bit with bonding and avoiding postpartum depression. <laughs>